am Martin, this is Deside Hack Space. I'm here to finish up uh, cutting an enclosure, so uh, this is it. And uh, we're gonna make more surfaces. I could uh, put a box which looks more or less like this. And uh, if you want to see uh, the prototype and a little bit more about it, uh, there is a link to the video there. Um, anyway, I'm gonna set up the laser cutter machine and uh, yeah, I'm gonna start cutting stuff out and uh, I'll show you how it goes. So, uh, to print out the box like that from the digital design, what you have to do is go to your uh, digital design. Uh, I was using a SketchUp and I've uh, um, designed the box in there. And then export the faces that you want to print out into the SVG files. There's a small plugin that does that for you. Now, uh, I've um, got them all out uh, and exported them as SVG files and then brought them back together just to kind of see how much space do I need. Now, uh, the biggest kind of cu cutting surface, it's uh, it's about A4, slightly a bit bigger than A4, so I've aligned all the pieces together to kind of make sure they are A4 size and they fit nicely into the uh, space, so it wouldn't, uh, so non none of this would go to waste. Uh, yeah, so uh, that's done. Now it's time to move the files to the computer that handles the uh, laser cutting. Next step is just to import the files into a program and align them uh, within an A4 format and this is ready to be printed out so I'm uh, just gonna set it up uh, it's quite noisy so I'm not going to film with the voice I'll, I'll play some nice short clip of uh, everything being cut up and sped up for you so you wouldn't get very bored so let's get cutting yes loud it is. Uh, um, I've got front and the back plate nearly done. Uh, it's been several minutes and I'm waiting for the sides. So once I've got this done we're gonna take it for uh, drilling because we're gonna put some holes in it for ventilation. So see you in a bit. Everything up there used to be ready so let's take a look. Uh, the laser is cooling down now. To move the camera out and we have our cut it looks brilliant actually this is how easy it gets you can just simply lift it to remove stuff from it so everything's nice to cut I was just on the spot in here uh, I should have uh, accommodate for a little bit more space and like uh, move the area uh, to this side but fortunately the cut is perfect uh, so yeah that's great let's put it on the side and some leftovers. Right, I'm gonna prepare the next print, which is gonna be the top and the back. And in the meantime, while this is being carved out, uh, we're gonna make some holes for ventilation. The back is already done. I didn't want to do any holes on the laser cutter, mostly because uh, uh, I'm not sure where they're gonna be, and I'm gonna cover it up with a Raspberry Pi logo. So, see you in a bit. So, the idea is to uh, make a holes. Uh, inside the front plate and that's going to be intake just to make sure the raspberry is properly cooled and cover it up with a raspberry pi logo uh, on the standoffs so the air can be intake from the side and you shouldn't be able to see any holes at all so what i'm going to do uh, previously i've cut out the, uh, this part of the raspberry i'm going to nicely align it uh, mark the holes make the holes a little bit bigger and then create the standoffs uh, outside to which the um, Raspberry Pi piece is going to be attached to. So uh, let's uh, let's do this. So far, I've been double checking everything. Each time, double check the measurements, double check the cards, double check what you're doing to not make the mistakes. You know, I've cut the holes, right? <laughs> In the wrong piece. So we're gonna be cutting a uh, side again. Uh, fortunately, I have uh, enough spare material to, uh, to do it with one more side. 
So yeah, always, always double check stuff, always. So it's a puzzle and blunder time. Uh, you know about this mistake already, so <laughs> yeah. But I also accidentally, I don't know how that happened, uh, one of the wings at the bottom, it was too, too long and I need to, needed to do a hack job because it's at the bottom and because I'm short on material, I might just leave it as it is. It's not the prettiest thing. You can see the hacksaw job here, but um, let's face it, no one's gonna see it because that's the bottom side and I'm not that bothered. Uh, obviously, I need to adjust the file um, accordingly. I'm quite surprised that this is misaligned like that because it looked all right on the 3D design, so apparently I've missed something. So I'll look into that. But other than that, it looks nice. Um, the core stays intact, so this bit is kind of like, uh, let me just remove the drives. This bit looks all right, and then just to put it together, uh, it just uh, snap the bottom, like so. Uh, this is side, like this. It takes a little bit of uh, practice. The sides need to be glued in because uh, otherwise they will move too much. This is the other side, uh, this way up. This one is with the holes. And this is a front with four holes for ventilation, so this one in purpose. And uh, this is the top, so needs to go like this. All right, and now I can gently lift it and hopefully it won't break. So, yeah, this is the box. It looks rather, rather lovely, to be honest, uh, especially when you slot in the drives. So, yeah, uh, all the way around, actually. So one drive's gonna go here and it's gonna be glued so it's gonna stick out like this so you could open it. It's not going to be hidden like this because it's uh, one side on the other side and one at the bottom like so. And also, yeah, they're both gonna be sticked out so you, you can um, you can open them. And the cable's gonna go here and that's your front and here's gonna be uh, a nice Raspberry Pi logo. Uh, I just need to get some stuff and stuff. So yeah, that's great. I'm quite happy with what it is. Uh, I'll see how much spare materials I've got, and then uh, I'll see whether I need to, uh, whether I want to recut the inner um, blades, or, or probably gonna leave it as it is. I'm just gonna correct the design because uh, I don't think I have enough material. But that's that's gonna be reprinted again because it's my mistake. I've drilled in the wrong bit. So yeah, excellent. That wouldn't be possible without this space. So this is a Hack space in this side. There's a nice, beautiful green logo behind me. Hey! So, kudos to these guys. I'm quite happy to, to be here with them. A few lo local, considering signing up or supporting us. It's quite great in here. And yeah, I think I'm gonna finish uh, for today because I've been here several hours and I think I deserve a break. So, I'll post this probably tonight and then the second part's gonna be tomorrow so you could have anything um, ever like well, so you would have anything to, to read and see how it goes and uh, what kind of mistakes I'm making. So yeah, I'll see you in that uh, part five, I guess. Uh, I'll see you soon. And this is where we finalize the thing and then I'll write the guide, the setup guide for the software. Right, see you later guys, bye.